All right, guys, so we have some breaking news, and we have some really good news, I would have to say. Uh, so it's all of a sudden, it's crazy. Just like, it was like 30 hours ago or something, a little bit longer than that, maybe like, uh, you know, 37 hours ago or something, where JP was completely dead, we had no indication anything was coming, it, it, there was just nothing, and now, it's like, yo, everything, like, okay, the month of November will have, confirmed, we have the Metal Cooler banner and Dokkan Fest, we have the Metal Cooler story, we have the LR Kid Goku event, we have the Waifu Awakening event, we have the Dragon Ball Heroes banner, we now have the Tech Beerus EZA, we have the LR Vegeta Prime battle, there probably will be some sort of LR for the Frieza category race, uh, you know, based on the fact that there's only, what, two LRs for it right now, uh, LR First Form Frieza and the LR Metal Cooler, right? So I would think for sure we will get a summonable LR for the Frieza category race that also would be on Super Boo's Enhanced Transformation Team hitting both of those uh, marks. That's why the Enhanced Transformation Team did not get an LR in October. That's what I think is going to happen. So November is going to be absolutely wild. And it's funny, I did see Kawhi, one of the French data miners on Twitter, talk about how people need to be strong in saving their stones because there's a lot of stuff coming but there's also some really good stuff coming later on i'm gonna tell y'all again there's a lot of hype stuff save your stones for the broly movie stuff i every video i will be saying this from now on global players too because it, this the broly movie stuff could come to Global and JP at the exact same time. If you guys remember, the Broly EZA was on Global and JP at the same time. So Global Players 2, you must, must save those stones. I'm telling y'all, Broly cards, Gogeta cards, they're all going to be so OP and busted. So let's get to it. Uh, let's take a look at everything. So there is a billion missions that are active. Uh, they're all pretty much generic, you know, type missions that you would expect to do, you know, just completing stages, you know, training characters, you know, using stamina or act, just all of the same stuff that you usually would have to do. Uh, lots of nice rewards there. Not really the biggest deal, though. Uh, of course, there's going to be a login bonus as well. So, JP will have two login bonuses. Uh, the Halloween one goes for a couple more days, and then this one as well. Uh, so we have the Metal Cooler Dokkan Fest. Uh, this is tonight, by the way. Uh, this drops uh, when this clock says 4 a.m. So uh, we're like 16 hours away or something like that. Uh, we see future Gohan is here. So here's the thing. Uh, here, let me actually open up the schedule here for a DBZ space. We know what several of the units on the banner are now. So... If we head over here, we know for sure Metal Cooler is on it. That's one. Future Gohan is on it. That's two. Future Gohan is a very random choice, I think, for the banner. But this is his first time back. So that does provide value to pretty much all players. Um, so, you know, it's... He doesn't really fit on this banner whatsoever, but I don't think it's a bad thing that he's there. Like, like that's a that's a solid sort of, you know, it's much better than, like, if they had shown Angel Golden Freeze right there or something, it's like, oh boy, here we go. Angel Golden Freeze's 27th banner, how good. Uh, okay, so that's two. Now, we know that the Piccolo is definitely summonable. Uh, you could tell he's summonable uh, by the orb right here. Because they have the full 5,000 orbs. He's definitely on the cooler banner. That's three. Uh, and then Vegeta. Uh, same thing. The Vegeta is also on the uh, orb ba or uh, on the cooler banner. So that's four. That means there's going to be three additional SSRs. Uh, one or two will be Dokkan Fest. I actually... Here's the thing. I really think AGL Rosé has a high chance of being here. Because he has not been around for so long. Now the last one could be uh, Turles. It could be any. It could be the transforming Frieza that just came out a couple months ago. You know, again, it could be Angel Golden Frieza. Uh, please, God, no! Don't let it be Physical Cooler. He's been on so many banners. Could be Full Power Frieza. Uh, I think you know some sort of Frieza unit could be like, oh no, oh no! You know what I just thought of? <laughs> oh. 
I might know who's going to be that last unit on the banner. If they do this, I'm going to be so mad. But you know who's probably going to be on the banner? Is this guy right here. Ah! Oh! I've pulled him like 20 times on the Tapion banner. I've pulled only, there's only a few units I've pulled more than this guy. I think, I still think Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is actually the SSR I've pulled the most, surprisingly. I don't know, Kef, I've pulled Kefla a lot too. Uh, but <laughs> this guy, oh, please, no. I feel like he is going to be on the banner. Oh, that would be rough. Um, but that banner, I think, is an easy skip. Uh, you know, Cooler is amazing. There's not really... <laughs> I don't have really negatives about this guy. Like, you know, the Freezer Race is an amazing team, 170% across the board. Extreme AGL uh, secondary, so, you know, I don't know, El Armage and Vegeta. You could pair him up with, like, physical full power Frieza. You could use Turles on the category. He has an amazing passive. His giant transformation will be very useful for the modes that matter. Super Battle Road, Extreme Z Awakening, so it's good. Uh, only thing, I guess his Link set, you know, they could have given him shocking speed. Like, sure, auto regeneration for the other middle cooler units. He's got strongest clan in space, but shocking speed really would have been useful. I mean, I understand why he's got transform because he's on the giant category team. He's a giant category transformation, but damn, would shocking speed have been better. But he's incredible. But again, you guys know what I'm going to say. Global players... JP players, save for the Broly movie, enough, that's it, done, save for the Broly movie, do it, I promise you, whoever lit, when we see what's coming from the Broly movie, people are gonna comment and say, truth, I listened to you, yes, I'm, I, I'm so happy, that's what fuckers are gonna be saying, please save, don't summon, the Metal Cooler is awesome, but he'll come back, he'll be back, the Broly movie stuff is the most important, uh, alright, so next we have, the uh, Frieza category race banner. Uh, it's, you know, I, I mean, this could be useful. Again, like, you know, if you're someone, you're like, I, I don't care about the Broly movie. I must have Metal Cool. I don't know. Frieza and Cool are my favorite characters or something. Uh, the banner, you know, should be solid. You know, it'll have this SCR Frieza, who's going to be one of the most powerful units that could be on the banner. I'm sure, like, you know, Angel Frieza will be another unit. Uh, I, I feel like Int Metal Cooler might be on there, even though you can't really use him on the team. You know, Tech Cooler might be on there. AGL Golden Frieza might be on there. There will be some good units on the banner. Uh, yeah, there's Metal Cooler right there. Oh, and uh, GT Frieza. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, but, you know, again, another skip. Uh, we have a Dragonstone Stale. That's cool. Uh, we have the Metal Cooler Dokkan event. So, you know, the Buhan event or Super Buu event was very long, very fun. I did like that. Uh, the Transforming Goku and Frieza events are also pretty long. I'm going to expect that this Metal Cooler event will be long as well, which will be cool. So, I do like that. Uh, we have the new uh, renewal, the revamp for the Metal Cooler Story event. Uh, I do look forward to that as well. Uh... There is a ton of farmable units from this, by the way. You can farm up the Robot Soldier. You can farm up this Metal Cooler, which can be used to raise the Super Attack level of the Dokkan Fest Metal Cooler. And then the five SR Metal Coolers all Dokkan Awaken into very decent SSRs uh, for the Freezer Race category team, by the way. Uh, so, you know, I have pulled, you know, I've grinded a lot on this cooler event in the past and i've gotten a ton of these sr metal coolers and i thought what is the, like there's no point to these i'm just bobbing them all now i really regret it because now your boy has so there's just so much grinding to do it, it's insane how much content is dropping all at once like this it's it's you know it's very cool for these celebration periods where all oh, there's an avalanche of stuff but i really wish they would i don't know spread it out a little bit Rather than go weeks with nothing going on, and then it's, oh, hey, here's 20 million events, because that's what's going on here. Now, again, tonight, all this drops tonight, by the way. The cooler event, the cooler banner, the cooler story event, and Prime Battle LR Vegeta all drop tonight. Uh, LR Vegeta is uh, very solid. 
uh, you know, he seems like if you can get his 18 key super, he'll probably be somewhere between 1.6 to 1.9 or 2 million attack set. Uh, he is a very good unit, though. I think he will be very good for Super Battle Road. Any category Super Battle Road stages he's in, I think he'll be a tremendous option. So I would recommend, uh, you know, players farm him up and rainbow him and all that good stuff. Uh, he is very, very good. Uh, okay, so next we have uh, this story event right here. Now, what this is, this is a story event covering the first Dragon Ball film. Uh, and we're going to be able to farm up this SR Kid Goku down here. He will awaken to an SSR Kid Goku. And then in the future, we will get a second event to awaken him to a TUR. And then in the future, we'll get a third event to awaken him to an LR. Uh, Kid Goku, again, is also the category leader for a new category that's a bit wonky. Here, I'll go ahead and bring it up right now. Uh, the, you know, Seeking Dragon Ball category, which is just characters that were chasing the Dragon Balls and made wishes with the Dragon Balls. It's like the King Piccolo cards on here, Lord Slug, some of the Frieza cards. I mean, it's not terrible because you do have Transforming Frieza. You know, Lord Slug is decent. You know, the LR Ginyu Force are on here. They're a decent card. Uh, B Pan is on here. Easy A Goten. You know, there are solid units. Uh, I'm sure eventually this could become a a better category. I'm, I'm trying. To, I mean, Garlic Junior would get added to this. Doctor Willow would get added to this. Uh, I, I feel like there's like okay. You know what they could have done? I realized this. There's no Super Saiyan Goku uh, from the Cell Saga on here. Is there? No. Not from the Cell Saga. Because uh, remember, he does collect the Dragon Balls immediately before the Cell games start. So he could have been on there. But, you know, we'll see how that category ends up being. We'll see what this kid Goku's uh, leader skill ends up being. You know, it could be very good. Uh, we have Dokkan Battlefield returning. Again, this is a monthly thing, global players. Uh, so every month, you know, it'll come, it'll reset. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be any new uh, characters or anything in here. I presume not because there's already, you know, 20 new characters coming tonight or some shit. So, you know, probably nothing new from Dokkan Battlefield. Uh, would be a good time to get, you know, dupes of LR Metal Cooler, who's going to be one of the better units uh, on the Freezer Race category. Um, all right. So now here's what everyone's waiting for. Tech Beerus gets his EZA uh, in a week's time. Okay, so one week away, Tech Beerus will get his EZA. Uh, you know, there is the, of course, uh, summoning banner. Uh, should be Tech Beerus, Int Kid Buu, uh, then maybe Janemba, or probably some other villain Int Unit, Buhan. Yeah, Buhan could be very likely uh, characters that will be on this banner. Uh, looks like Tech Beerus is going to be weak to the Realm of Gods category, uh, because this does appear to be a Realm of Gods, uh, category banner. Uh, you know, here is his EZA, so Tech Beerus, finally going to get an EZA. I'm going to say this, uh, I think Tech Beerus is going to be outstanding, because right now, he can hit, I think, about 1.5 million attack stat. After this EZA... His attack will likely jump up to like 19,000. I, I mean, I don't know what beer, like on the movie boss category team, you know, LR Beerus, Tech Beerus, Turles, I'm sure Beerus could probably get close to a 2.5 million attack stat, 2.4, 2.3, somewhere in that range. He's going to be very impressive. Very, very impressive. And then, of course, you know, the rage mode got the significant buff with uh, potential system buffs now being active for that. So, Beerus is going to be tremendous. This is a good EZA. Like, you can't, you can't Baba units now. And you can't, like, they really can turn any unit good now. You know, we're getting the Beerus EZA. To me, this confirms that we are definitely going to be getting uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta at, uh, EZA at some point. We'll get an Int Janemba one at some point. Now, everyone is speculating SDR Gogeta, which could happen. Uh, but he was not on the Redstone listing. That is one important thing. But, you know, I could see him getting one. Uh, SDR Gogeta has actually fallen behind a little bit, so he could use one. I think, you know, after SCR Gogeta's EZA, he'll be comparable to uh, Int Gogeta. It's going to be crazy. He'll be very, very good. But, all right, so this, you know, Beerus uh, EZA is going to be happening. Again, he'll be weak to, weak to the Realm of Gods category. So these Int units are going to be very important here. Zamasu is critical 
uh, here because of his uh, defense and healing. Blue Vegeta will be good. UI Goku will be good. And then, like, God, Goku, uh, Beerus, and then Whis. I probably... Uh, I don't have Beerus, God, Goku, and Whis rainbowed. I might look into rainbowing uh, maybe the God Goku uh, to help me with this easy event. You guys know I like to go very far. Uh, I think LR Vegito Blue, his defense will be so high that he will be a outstanding unit here as well. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but these int-type units, of course, will be the most important since Beerus himself is a tech-type unit. So, very cool, very cool. Beerus is easy, a really good thing. Now, here's the thing. Uh, Zamasu and that blue Vegeta are also good against the tech, uh, cell EZA. So, you know, they're, you know, good units to rainbow because they're going to be good in multiple EZA events, which is really cool. Uh, then we have Beerus and Cell's Dokkan events. Uh, we'll be up basically the whole month for that. Uh, we have the, uh, you know, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Bulma event will be coming back, as well as the Battle of Gods event will be coming back. Now, again, right here, we don't have... Any info of a, uh, what should we call it, uh, uh, like a double rights banner or an LR banner, anything like that. Uh, a lot of times they do kind of hide those and then just drop them, you know, in the, in the data download. So I do think, again, there's three, okay, there's two confirmed things coming this month. And one thing I do think is going to happen. The two confirmed things are the Ribrian April Fool's event gets added sages and all of the waifu cards will awaken. Number two, we are going to be getting a Dragon Ball Heroes banner in November. And then again, number three, I think we will get a summonable LR uh, Frieza unit uh, or cooler unit. I think it'll probably be LR Gold and Frieza or like LR Metal Cooler and King, or uh, excuse me, Metal Fru Mecha Frieza and King Cold, something like that. Uh, not, not LR Metal Cooler, I meant it'll either be LR Golden Frieza, I think, or LR King Cold and Mecha Frieza. Those are the two I think are you know, just what I would think would drop, uh, that LR Golden Frieza would be on both Enhanced Transformation category and Freezer Race category, so that's another reason I think that's very likely, but there we go, guys, there is all of the new stuff coming in this JP celebration, very exciting stuff, I will see you tonight for the summons, I will be rainbowing Metal Cooler, he's a pretty cool unit, uh, thanks for watching, can't wait for that Tech Beers EZA, and I'll catch y'all next time.